Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who has great plans for all peoples, but a God who has plans for you as an individual as well. God loves you so much that Jesus died for you. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. You know, I think that we hear these words. We probably sing the old children's uh, song in our head, let, uh, this little light of mine sometimes. And we hear what they say, but sometimes we fail to do what it says. And what I mean by that is I think that sometimes uh, we let the devil get us down and remind us of who we really are. Uh, we are really God's children. And then when we receive Jesus as our Savior, we become sons and daughters of the living God. Um, I think that because we are imperfect, uh, we are afraid to let our light shine. Um, you know, the devil is always right there whispering in our ear, you can't do this or you can't do that. You're going to embarrass God. You're going to uh, detract from being a Christian. And yet God is saying, let your light shine. You know, uh, through through Matthew uh, and his gospel, God is saying, this is how my, my will is done. This is how it works out is that God wants us, God is saying to us, I want your light to shine. I want people to see me in you. Uh, that doesn't mean we go around uh, that we're, you know, saying that we're perfect or saying that or, or pretending to be perfect because we're not. In fact, the truth is, if we were perfect, then people wouldn't want to uh, become like us because they wouldn't think it was attainable. Yet because we're imperfect, we can simply say to people that God has saved us. We can simply share our testimony of what God has done in our lives. Now, I know that we uh, make more mistakes or, uh, you know, have more sin than we want to have. Uh, we, we certainly believe that because of God's holiness that we too can be holy and we don't have to sin. And yet in our humanness, uh, we struggle with this on a regular basis. Uh, hopefully as we are maturing in our walk with God, as we are becoming Christians longer and longer, uh, that we're less likely to sin. Um, and yet there's those things that nag at us, those, um, those little addictions or maybe even big addictions in our life that, that take us over, uh, those old ways of life that sometimes sneak in um, when we're not honoring God with our mouths or whatever the case is. But if we're faithful to God, if we're showing what God can do, God's light shines. And although it's imperfect uh, and, and through the, the glass bowl of our lives, God's perfectedness, God's being perfect, God's righteousness comes through. So I just want to encourage you today to let God's light shine in your life. I don't know about you, but, you know, I, I'm starting this morning's prayer by, by praising God and asking God that his light might shine in my life, that, that my inconsistencies, that my struggles, that my issues uh, would be lessened or dimmed, and that his love, that his grace would shine through and that he would be praised. Uh, that's what I want to happen in my life today, and not for my glory, but for his glory. I want people to come in contact with me and I want them to know who God is and I want them to celebrate who God is and I want them to give their lives over to God. Not because of who I am again, but because of who God is. I hope today that, that you will choose to do that with your life. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the awesome opportunity we're going to have to serve you today. Father, we don't know who we're going to come in contact with, but you do. And we just pray right now, oh God, that, that as you work in our lives, that other people would choose you, that they would see your light shine through us, that, that you would get all the praise and they would come into your kingdom and become our brothers and sisters. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this day. Please bless those who need a special blessing. Bless the people in Afghanistan as, as this crisis continues on. Uh, help those who are brothers and sisters in Christ to, to, to find rest and to find peace today as you walk beside them. We pray, Lord, for their safety and that your and for your protection over them. Um, and may your will be done in their lives as your will is done in our life and as your will is done in heaven. Father, please bless those who have physical needs today, medical, emotional, uh, spiritual, whatever the case could. Would you just bless each person according to their needs and may you get all the praise. Father, we pray for these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Let his light shine in your life today and may it bring him praise. Have a great day. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.